Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and today I've had time to do a voiceover, so yay! I removed all this client's previous set and all that jazz, prepped, primed, added a clear base and I forgot what I'm saying. Ah, so I'm doing an ombre on this pinky, so I've added a small bead of um, Snow White, I'm just blending it backwards slightly. And I'm going to come over the top of that with a more. A more and Snow White just make the most beautiful ombre ever. Fact. Just added a bit more there just to get that blend and that apex in and then I'll cap that um, blend area so we don't file away the beautiful blend. Um, this now is just a full nail of a more because I'm going to come in and do some like a big 3D flower on this nail afterwards. So I'm just moulding and shaping that all the way down the nail. I'm doing as much of the shaping with my brush as possible so I don't have... Well, so I can try and minimise my filing. This is a full glitter nail and it is the one and only Arabian Princess from the Glitter Fairy. One of my favourites. My light bulb is doing something really weird. So, it's like flashing. What the heck? It's either going to blow or I'm going to get abducted by aliens in a minute, <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> you find out on Friday if you get another video or not. <laughs> so on this um, index finger, we're going to do a beautiful French. So I'll just place my bead on around that cuticle area and tilted the finger down sort of let gravity pull it down now I'm just very gently tapping it into shape and then I'm going to come in and add another bead to get the apex in there and to get that cuticle nice and neat and I'm just going to swipe the front of that bead down so we don't swipe it all away I think this thumb is just an ombre. So yeah, coming in with that gorgeous snow white. And if you can see, a bit of glitter was stuck in there. And it had really set in before I noticed it. So here's me trying to flick it away. And then I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm just going to cover it with a little bead of white. <laughs> I ain't playing with you. So yeah, then just going to come in with a more again. I think I might have put a bit, of, done a little glitter trail over this one. I think I did. So 
Excuse me, this is my vape. Freckly hands. So yeah, that apex was high enough on there, so I'm just capping that blend area. So just popping that bead of um, Snow White on. CJP is just such a joy to work with. Like it just, it stays moldable for such a good amount of time without running everywhere like you place your bead on it stays where it is until you just push it into place it's just i just love it so i've already filed and shaped and buffed these pretties and then i'm going to come in and top coat and then once they're all nice and cured i'm going to um come and do some 3d work Oh, so satisfying that, isn't it? Beautiful French. So yeah, I'm just going to let you watch the rest of this now. Um, I'm using Snow White for the 3D because it is so easy. And it sets up a little quicker than any of the other whites and it's so moldable so yeah i'm using snow white for the 3d and a size 2 acrylic brush so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give me a thumbs up and i'll see you all soon bye